and today I'm doing a little um, generator build. These are actually uh, field boxes from Sheffield. They're like $6 on Amazon. Um, and so I've got my cell pack in here. This is one I've already built. I've got terminal, positive negative terminal in there. And then um, I have 10 gauge lead wires into my pack and into my battery management system. This is a 60 amp battery management system. And these batteries are 26, 650 cells. Um, they were actually built for uh, military applications. Um, so here's what the pack looked like before. I sealed it and heat shrinked it and did all that. So this is a uh, uh, lithium iron phosphate. So it's at eight parallel by four in series, which brings you up around the 12 volt range, a little bit higher. Um, so this pack will put out quite a bit of power. What we're gonna do, I got a little 120 watt generator from Harbor Freight and I'm gonna cut the ends off of this, put it on here and we're gonna have a little portable generator. We'll plug it in and see how long it runs. Um, it should run a long time with this battery pack. Um, and then once we'll, once I draw it down, I'll recharge it and uh, we'll tell you how long it actually ran. So here we go. Start taking this thing apart. Good. So here's the little inverter. It's got two USB plugs and a 110 plug. Um, this is for smaller applications fans and things like that. Um, you don't want to hit, run huge stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the end on this, pull this apart, strip this. There we go. I'm just going to splice this in. These are marine grade right here. Um, so they'll heat shrink and they're waterproof. Now I wanna show you, this is a Klein tool crimper. Uh, I have a friend and he said I should use one of his tools. So there's a print. Um, I'll go ahead and heat shrink these real quick. Let me grab my extension cord. So this uh, heat shrink shrinks uh, three to one. And uh, that's awesome stuff. And it has a little sealant in it that makes it waterproof. So. I'll touch that for a minute. So I used this uh, Velcro in a previous build. The tape on this is just phenomenally uh, sticky and strong. So I'm going to use it on this because it just works well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. Like I said, it sticks well. This is actually the hardest part, is getting it off. Of course, as soon as I say that, it comes off easy, but... So, I think the best way to mount this is just... So you can plug it in easily is where it comes off the end right here. So, just pressure those down. Pop the inverter on there. Uh -oh. 
Can't remember which one's positive and negative. <laughs> Let's see if it says anywhere. Well, we'll plug it in and see what happens. Um, let's zoom in on this. You can see the glue from this heat shrink coming out of it. You know it's really sealed when it, that's happening. So I'm going to start with my positive in here. Making the assumption that... still works after that. Let me get something small uh, to plug it in. We'll see where it does. So this is just a Amazon basic little heater, um, but it has a fan only mode. Uh, this little inverter would not handle the resistive heat, but it should handle just the fan. So, we'll plug it in and try it. And we have an issue. I might have burned a fuse out or something. Hold on just a sec. Yes, it did blow a fuse in here. The problem is... It's an integrated circuit fuse. You can see it burn out right here. That means I'm gonna have to do a lot more work to it. So I am just gonna slap a new one on and I'll mess with this later.